One in three adults in the United States has high blood pressure. High blood pressure is a major risk factor for heart disease, stroke, congestive heart failure, and even kidney disease. My first guest today is interventional radiologist, Dr. Mahmoud Razavi. Dr. Razavi, thanks for coming. Thank you, Larry. Nice to be with you. Now, we are talking about a very exciting technology today. As a cardiologist, I treat tons of high blood pressure, and this is one of the most exciting things to come down the pipe in a long, long time. Why don't we just start? What is high, why don't you define high blood pressure? What is it, and what are the numbers? Sure, sure. The high blood pressure is uh, defined as any blood pressure that is over 140. Uh, the upper number. The, the uh, systolic number. The systolic number, yeah, or the upper number and, and uh, below over 80, which is the lower number, or 90. If those patients who have diabetes, we want the target number to be around 130, the upper number. Anything above that is called high blood pressure, and it comes with certain consequences as a result that directly impact a lot of organs in the body. And then there's a term pre-high blood pressure, which usually means like a systolic 120 to 139. That usually means people are, are really at risk of getting high blood pressure, so they have to do something to change that. But what I find a problem with is there's 100 medications right now for high blood pressure, 100 medications, and it's a daunting task. And in my practice, I have maybe, I would say, uh, maybe 25 or 30 percent around three medications or more, three or more. Um, I think most people these days are on two, you know, at least two, and that's the trend. So this technology that you're going to talk about is, you think it's going to replace high blood pressure medicines in entirety, or what, how would you, how do you see it fitting in in the future? I know it's early on, but how sure. would you say? Sure. This is an exciting technology, as you mentioned. Uh, the the uh, uh, most of the patients on high blood pressure, as you mentioned, are on multiple medications, despite the fact that they're on multiple medications. And the fact that the quality of medications has improved significantly over the past decade, still about one third of the patients can't get to the goal, to reach that goal of 140, and they live above 160 even, uh, blood pressure. This technology is initially geared towards those patients that we have trouble controlling their blood pressure on medications alone. Yeah. So somebody who's on just one blood pressure medicine, like a mild diuretic water pill, they probably are not going to need or maybe want this type of technology at this stage anyway. Correct, correct. This is, this is really geared towards those patients who have difficulty controlling their blood pressure at this point in time. In the future, that may change, of course. Yeah. And so uh, we're going to show the demonstration in a second, but basically this is dealing with uh, the kidneys, uh, the arteries to the kidneys. And what, what role do the kidneys play in high blood pressure? Well, kidneys are very important. As you know, the uh, causes of blood pressure are multifactorial. There are multiple causes of blood, uh, causing blood pressure to go up. The kidney are an important source. One, the flow of the kidney regulates the blood pressure. The other one are these nerves that live around the arteries that, uh, that feed the kidney. Those also play a very important role in, the, in uh, managing or controlling blood pressure in the body. And target of this therapy are those nerves. So these nerves actually uh, stimulate other nerves that cause the arteries to squeeze down and make your blood pressure go up? Or do these nerves release a hormone uh, from the kidneys that makes your blood pressure go up? Or is it both? That's right. It's, it's actually both. But, but it's done through what we call a neurotransmitter. It's actually a molecule in the body that the, in, in conjunction with the brain, they produce these, this molecule that causes blood pressures to clamp down. So the, the nerves, when stimulated by some manner, cause a, the, uh, some kind of chemical to be released, and, and that makes your blood pressure go up. Correct. We have a model here. I wonder if you can demonstrate this uh, for us. I'll hold it for you, and maybe you can tell us sure. what we're seeing this here. Is, yeah, this is a model of the circulation in the body, uh, and this is the heart, pumps the blood out, and these blood vessels go to the head, and these go to the legs. Our target are these two blood vessels here, which feed the kidneys, which uh, live at either end of those. Around these uh, arteries live those nerves that are the target of this therapy. And this therapy is done through a small catheter that I have a, an example with me here. Um, what this does is, as you can, the audience can see, it's a very small, tiny catheter 
that is introduced through the uh, uh, artery in the groin. Those patients who've had angiograms would be familiar with this, and this is introduced and advanced to the area of the kidney, and this is the target. What we do is then we push a little button here, and that activates this catheter, and we reach those nerves, and those nerves are deactivated as a result. And so what happens is that the uh, molecules of the chemical that is produced by these to increase the blood pressure is then uh, regulated. Okay, so these are basically the ar arteries that go down the legs, the femoral arteries, and you make a little tiny incision just like we do angiograms of the heart. I'm an interventional cardiologist and you're an interventional radiologist. We do a lot of these. I go up to the heart and put stents in, but this test, we're not going up to the heart, right? No, We're this stay only right stays here. exactly right. It stays around the kidney. That's the, again, that's where the, these nerves are concentrated. And this is the mid-level of your abdomen. So this is a kidney coming out here, a kidney coming out here. Okay, so we don't uh, damage the kidney with this, right? No, there's no damage to the kidneys. Uh, there, the studies so far show that uh, this is a very safe procedure. Uh, it's done, uh, uh, it takes about an hour, an hour and a half to do, sometimes faster than that. And uh, we keep the patients uh, in, in the hospital for that day and then uh, patients are released. Okay, so just a little tiny hole down here, you take it out, seal the hole off with the hand pressure and that's it. So the, um, th that catheter is not just an ordinary catheter though, right? This is a specialized tool that's, that is, what does it do? It releases some kind of energy uh, Correct. It is. Uh, it is. Uh, it works through radio frequency or RF uh, uh, energy. It delivers energy across the blood vessel wall to reach those nerves, th those targets that live around these arteries, and thereby deactivating them or knocking them out, if you will. And so, when that's done, you regulate the blood pressure. So, the, so again, the name for this is called what? What, it, what would we call it? Yeah, um, this is this has a fancy term. It's called renal denervation, or we call it RDN. And most of our patients call it RDN for simplicity. Okay. And the name of the uh, clinical trial is is the Simplicity Hypertension Three, and that three refers to the study that is done in the United States. The uh, uh, Hypertension One and Two trials were done in Europe. Okay. So now, is this going to be generally available to every hospital in the country starting very soon? Uh, no, not at this stage. Only very few selected uh, centers are participating in this as part of a trial, and we are one of those. Uh, and, and in this study, uh, what we're doing, we're taking those patients that we talked about earlier that have high uh, blood pressure that is difficult to control with medication. So you and I are participating in this, in this clinical trial and where can people find information? Uh, they can contact you, I guess, or they can contact me. Yeah, of and, course. And where is the center going to be? We are going to be doing it at the St. Joseph Hospital. Uh, and uh, those people who are interested in finding out more about it can contact either of us. Very exciting. I'm, this is, I'm more excited about this than I was when coronary stents came out because I think it's going to be a game changer in the treatment of high blood pressure and certainly how I perhaps treat patients in the future. Exactly, exactly. Thanks so much for coming on. It was a great topic. I appreciate it very much.